Moving on to the eighth question. If 3 cot a is equal to 4, check whether 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or not. Now moving on to the solution. He has given that 3 cot a is equal to 4 which implies cot a will be equal to 4 by 3. Here he asks us to check whether 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a or not. Now let us consider the left hand side of the equation that is 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a which will be equal to 1 minus tan a whole square by 1 plus tan a whole square. Now as the value of cot a is given we know tan a is nothing but the reciprocal of cot a we can write tan a is equal to 1 by cot a which is nothing but the reciprocal of 4 by 3 that is 3 by 4 that we, now 1 minus tan square a by 1 plus tan square a will be equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square by 1 plus 3 by 4 whole square which is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4 whole square is 9 by 16 divided by 1 plus 9 by 16 which is equal to 16 minus 9 by 16 divided by 16 plus 9 by 16 by simplification 16 16 in the denominator will get cancelled which will be equal to 16 minus 9 is 7 and 16 plus 9 is 25 therefore we got the value of LHS as 7 by 25 let us also find the value of RHS that is nothing but cos square a minus sin square a in order to find the value of cos square a minus sin square a let us initially find the value of sin a and cos a from the given relation that tan a is equal to 3 by 4 if tan a is equal to 3 by 4 that is nothing but opposite side by adjacent side let us consider a triangle right angle triangle with base angle as a and here now opposite side in a simple ratio will be 3 and adjacent side in a simple ratio will be 4 in order to find sin a and cos a we have to find the hypotenuse let it be as z we know that from Pythagoras theorem square of hypotenuse that is nothing but z square will be equal to sum of squares of the other two sides that is nothing but 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to 9 plus 16 that is equal to 25 and thereby we get z as root of 25 which is nothing but 5 therefore we got z as 5 now here we get cos a is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse that is z which is equal to adjacent side for angle a is 4 by hypotenuse here z that is 5 and we also get the value of sin a as opposite side by hypotenuse which is nothing but z that is equal to 3 by 5 he asked us to find the value of cos square a minus sin square a in the right hand side that will be equal to 4 by 5 whole square minus 3 by 5 whole square that is equal to 4 square by 5 square that is 16 by 25 minus 3 square by 5 square that is 9 by 25 which is equal to 16 minus 9 by 25 
that is nothing but 7 by 25. Here we got LHS equal to RHS that is nothing but 1 minus tan square A by 1 plus tan square A is equal to cos square A minus sin square A is true.